Hey guys, welcome back to the English Gentleman Gamer with me, Roscoe, and here's a quick initial impressions video of welcome Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow, which I picked up on PlayStation Network for £3.59 in my PlayStation Plus discount. Apologies if the, uh, if the Sam Fisher kind of fucks about a little bit, this is the first time I've ever played uh, Splinter Cell. Certainly, well, no, that's a bit of a lie. I think I have had a go on a couple of demos in the past, back in the PS2 days. That's about it, and it's a long time ago. I've played an awful lot of games since then, so I'm not really used to the interface and stuff and the control, so that's quite a, kind of why I uh, bugger about a little bit. I've had this video would be 22 minutes long if I talked for the whole way through it, but I'm not going to do that because it's boring. Even then, though, 22 minutes, I did chop out quite a few bits. There was one early one room early on where I actually got stuck. I couldn't work out how to get out of it, and I finally worked it out. Um, anyway, I digress. So thoughts so far. Initially. I was going to say on this video that I think it's a, more of a puzzle game than a stealth game. The reason for that is, you don't actually have that much freedom. I can't, like where are you now, crouch down, I can't jump out and get in the water like I would expect to be able to do on Dishonored, say. Or even going back to Tenshu, I mean I know I bang on about Tenshu, I mention it quite a lot, but the game does give you a lot of freedom. It's, there you go, start off in the middle, there's the enemy at the end. You can kill everyone, you can ignore everyone or whatever. This game, certainly this level, rather like the first level of Dishonored, which is why I'm reluctant to, you know, I was going to call it poor, but I'm going to give it a bit more of a go yet. Uh, anyway, to get back to the point, so f this first level is basically a puzzle game. There isn't a lot of freedom to do anything. You are told quite categorically that you're not allowed to kill anyone. Okay, fair enough. It's a tutorial for people like me who haven't played the original um, Splinter, Splinter, Splinter Cell. So, that's why I'm putting initial impressions out. Um, it's an HD remake of a PlayStation 2 game, which, you know, visually it's pretty good. For £3.59, I'm impressed. The, you know, the interface you can tell is from a PS2. Uh, and like that background, little background picture then of Sam Fisher's talking about. It did look like a PS2 game, but it handles pretty well and the graphics are good. The two different types of, sort of, the night vision and the thermal cameras are good. I'm just a bit frustrated so far that there's not so much freedom in it. Uh, this is coming from my sort of, I mean I've been playing I haven't played a lot recently but I did play an awful lot of Dishonored. I had a quick go on the new DLC, the Knife of Dunwall thing. I think I did about half an hour and I kind of got a bit fucked over. And I, I, I did killed someone a couple of times which I didn't intend to do so I'll have to redo that level I think. I think I'm going to have to go through it and butcher everyone and then go back and do it again when I try and work out where everyone is. Anyway Getting back to Splinter Cell, yeah, it's basically this is just a tutorial level, so I can't really comment on the gameplay in general. It, these, it looks like there are big levels, but the path through it is quite defined, and there's only one way through it. So I mean, the same applied to Dishonored. The first level was very linear. I think there was only a couple of occasions where you could take an, one different door that brought you out in the same place anyway. So I mean, these sort of things are okay. I could see getting on my tits after a while. Uh, I like, it's not a bad distraction though. I like the fact you can do the optic cable under a door. So you can, but I mean, you know, Dishonored had something similar in as much as not an optic fiber, sorry, fiber optic camera, but it was the um, ability to see through walls anyway, and you could see you was behind it. So there's that sort of thing I like. Um, and certainly for the price, you know, I'll play, I'll probably play it once and then delete it. Thankfully, Sony does remember what I've bought in the past, so. As long as I keep my PlayStation Plus membership going, I can you know, re-download these again another time. So I do like that. Um, <coughs> Sound-wise, is really good. I like the effects and the atmosphere that the game creates, and the controls are good. I've played other sort of third-person games, specifically designed for the PS3, that I haven't felt handled quite as well as this. But I, I was a bit disappointed with the. Lean with the linear nature of the level, but then thinking about it, again like I've said before, Dishonored was like that in the, on the first level. Tenshi wasn't, Tenshi just threw you in at the deep end and didn't even offer you any sort of tutorial, it, it kind of left you to. I just, you'll see that skip forward a bit there, that's because I was, I was in that room for about 20 minutes fanning around, and then I finally realised there was a little grate in the corner, so. It, it holds your hand in some cases, in other cases it does leave you to it a little bit, but anyway. Um, so that's all I've got to say about Splinter Cell. I will persist with it. Uh, I'm fairly impressed. I mean, 
I've had to just like so remind myself that it might not be this linear all the way through. The Let me uh, other game wise, what am I playing? Uh, I've got. I'm playing got the Knife of Dunwall thing. Now, sure you know that never got any views whatsoever on the channel, so I'm not inclined to spend an hour making a video and doing the, vo the record audio for it when no one's going to watch it. Bad Battlefield 3. I'll, I'll record that and do a commentary if any of my friends are on, on the uh, PSN at the same time. I'm more inclined to do some more bad cut two videos to be honest. Because I never really got stuck into sort of kind of explaining exactly how I liked what I liked about that game or way back when. Uh, anything else? I think I believe Hitman Absolution is coming free to PSN this month or in May rather. So expect a couple of videos on that one. I may do a 70s or some sort of type trailer for Dishonored. I did do a short highlight video going back quite a few months. Uh, I may do something similar. As you know I was partnership partnered with Machinima recently so I have submitted a video for their channel. Not, no, it's actually a pilot episode so it would be uh, you know, a series of them. Uh, it's the head start one though so I have done a couple of those already uh, on this channel so that won't be anything new. This is the first time I came up against an opponent. I wasn't quite sure what it wanted me to do here, but I got past him as you'll see. I've got the end game seventies video. I'm not sure being a machine and a partner whether I'm allowed to post it on Pixel Enemy Revive, which is my intention was to put it on there if I could, well, assuming they let me. I'm gonna have to email Machine and ask the question because it does say something in the contract about exclusive rights to your videos. I'm not, I'll have to ask the question on that one, so we'll see. Um, but anyway guys, I just thought I'd give you my initial impressions and a bit a little bit of gameplay from Splinter Cell. I think I think it's four ninety nine full price. Well, full price, for want of a better word, on the PlayStation Network. I only paid three pounds sixty for it. it. Took me a while to work it out. Says so how to actually knock this guy out rather than shoot him. That's another story. Um, it's probably worth it. I mean, I haven't played any of them, and I'm told that out of the three, there's Splinter Cell, Splinter Cell, Pandora's Tomorrow, and there's Chaos Theory, the third one that's been remade in HD. He's also on there. I'm told this is the best one out of the three. So I'll, I'll carry on, I'll bring you some more gameplay because I don't think I've ever done a Let's Play and actually brought you a whole live com. Tomorrow night, tomorrow being Tuesday, I will get some time to play on my own as I'll have the house to myself for a while. So if anyone wants to see any particular gameplay, I might even plug the Wii into the Ava Media so I can record some World at War. That's another one, World at War, I've not played that as much as I wanted to either. Do a comparison video of World at War on the Wii and on the PS3. We'll see, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I will have plenty of time though. I think I'll have about three hours to kill tomorrow night, so gives me plenty of time to fanny around. This is a, a good fluke here that I uh, escaped these mines the first time. I wasn't too sure. I thought there was like some sort of weird raindrops or something. I don't think you see them quite yet. Is it? Am I going to see it before the end of the video? There we go. Thermal goggles on. And I saw these pulse things. I didn't know what the I mean, As far as I'm concerned, Little mines under the ground don't actually emit heat, but anyway, there you go, it's a game. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, um, and I'll catch up with you later. Take it easy. Bye.